guys welcome to the next video today we are going to use the annotate option annotation means anything that is written on the drawing it basically goes all the way from creating a text to making a dimension so basically you have to make few settings before you start your annotation so to make those settings click on this and then you can find there are certain other things which have popped up under the annotation window and you can select these buttons to change the settings of each of this annotation commands so let me first define the text style i click on this button and the pop up window comes up i would like to set the font to say times new roman and the height to be 5 by default your your font would be something else you can always change it to something which is readable legible and formal you cannot make some you know you have a very stylish kind of fonts where you will not be able to read things properly and you will not be able to understand so it is always better that you take a font which is quite legible see these kind of fonts are not to be used for formal purposes so my suggestion would be you can go with a times new roman and that is a very standard uh, font that is used across the globe next is your height you set the height to 5 that is a reasonable height and then click to set current and once you click apply then you can click set current and then you can close it that's it about the uh, setting the text now i would like to know how did i create these text here right so for that the command here is text click on this and you will be asked to make a box where in which you would like to type your text so i'll type here say engineering drawing okay now you see here this is a font height 5 and it has come here as the way i have typed it so that is about inserting a text and you have single line text and multi line text by default it will be a multi line text and if you select single line text you have an option where you can tilt your text say here once i select single line text it will ask me specify the start point of the text so let me specify the start point of the text here and in now it is asking for the rotation angle of the text i can either select the end point and then you go here so watch dial and as you can see once i come out of my command by pressing escape it has gone along that inclined line so that is the basic difference between having a multi line text and a single line text in multi line text you don't have that option of tilting the text you have to go with whatever the uh, standard tilt that is av uh, available that is horizontally and in single line you can change the orientation now coming to the next important thing in annotation that is dimensioning before you start dimensioning you have to set up the dimension settings and for that you have to click on this dimension style click on it and you again have a pop up window which comes like this so basically i would like to go with this standard and click on modify that is i am going to modify my standard given uh, dimensioning style so how to change it we'll go each of this tab one by one and i'll explain only those features which are essential for you to be changed so number one is lines and for the lines you have to make sure that the line is offset from the origin by say 1 mm and extend beyond the dimension lines these are the dimension lines okay these are called extension lines and these are the dimension lines okay extend beyond the dimension lines by 5 mm okay so 1 2 these two things you have to change then 
what you will do is go to symbols and arrows here also you have to be very careful the arrow size would be 0.18 change it to 3 mm okay and that's it pretty much you don't have to change any other uh, things here next coming to the text coming to the text by default the text style would be the standard style that you have defined if you click here it will again come to the text style menu that you have already created and kept ready so you need not touch that you can keep it there itself now the only thing is that where you want to place your text is it that you want to align along the dimension text or you just want to keep it all horizontal so for the course we are going to use all the bis standards and it is aligned with the text so i bis standard is almost the same as iso standard so you can click on the iso standard then you can click above the vertical above this text placement vertical above so that it is on uh, above the dimension line and it should not be touching the dimension line so i would like to leave a 1 mm gap between the dimension line and the vertical or the text so that 1 mm i define it here now i would skip the fit i will like directly go into primary units here i will define my precision to be 0.00, .00. that is sufficient for me for this course 0.00 is sufficient and the decimal separator should be a period and not a comma or a space so that you need not touch it will be by default period you can just keep it that itself and um, that's it so you have pretty much done i'll summarize once again go to lines change the extent beyond the dimension line to 5 origin from offset by 1 then you go ahead to symbols and arrows change the arrow size to 3 then come to text go ahead and click on this iso make it above the in the vertical make it above and then come to primary units i will skip the fit tab i will go to primary units change the precision to 0, 0.00 and just check whether the decimal separator is a period or a comma i will use period and then i will click ok now i have made the changes and to make the changes reflect in this current drawing i have to keep this set current so once i click set sta the standard click set current and that's it now if i dimension i will show you a simple example here so as you can see here my dimension looks pretty neat isn't it so that's how you can dimension your drawings now coming to circular dimensions if you see here i have a circle right so i need to dimension the circle for that i have to use the com this option here diameter or radius i will generally prefer diameter over radius if it is a circle and if it is any other curve i would prefer going with radius now see here i have my diameter of the circle defined properly this is called a leader line dimensioning now if i want the dimension to come inside i can put it like this okay no harm but since the text is too large to fit inside the circle the other arrowhead is missing don't worry it is not an error it is that is how autocad works now say for example i would like to add some extra detail i would like to add about this rectangle here i would use this leader line so once i click on the leader line i click on the entity then click here and that's it so rectangle needs to be arrayed this is the text that i would like to keep it there so that will show up in the drawing this is how one of the way you can annotate your drawings so this is the next uh, uh, important thing that you have to keep in mind as far as dimensioning is concerned now coming to dimensioning linear dimensioning is always either horizontal or vertical dimensions say here if i click on this length and this edge 
see it will only help me in dimensioning either the horizontal length or the vertical length see here it doesn't allow me to dimension the other part so what i have to select for dimensioning uh, inclined lengths i have to go with align dimensioning and then click on it then you will not have the option of going with the horizontal or vertical so this is how dimension aligned and linear works now coming to angle i would like to define the angle between this line and this line i have to select that angle and then define the angle please remember the angle always measures in the counterclockwise direction so you have to be careful how you select the entities now you have different other options arc radius diameter i would like to i would like you to explore these options because they are very easy and it is quite straightforward to understand so that's it about annotation of drawings i hope you are able to understand my lectures uh, see you soon in the next video thank you